Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to create consistent characters using RenderNet AI. And right now, this is the main landing page of RenderNet. And there are two different features inside this AI. We have face lock. This is focusing mainly on the face, so whatever um, source image or reference image you upload, and then you import a prompt, you're gonna have different results but the face remains the same. Also for control net, the second one mainly focuses on the pose. So the main difference is this is face and this is posing. For control net, if you upload a photo with a movement, it will follow that source image. Basically those are the two features or main features inside render net. So I'll see you inside. Just use your dummy Google account to proceed with this one. Anyway, let's move on once inside. So welcome back to the video. Here we have what's inside of RenderNet. Before they have here, I think four or five samples where you can choose for Instagram model, cinematic, and so on and so forth. But for now, they have dated it to fitness model, fashion influencer, travel vlogger, and movie character. Below, if you choose on the explore page right here, we'll have different samples from different creators. For example, this one right here, I think this is a GTA 6. Um, reference image you can use this as a reference so you can start from scratch however i do not suggest that so you can have your own unique quality simply click on generate on this option right here so once you choose on generate you'll have this what they call editing platform inside RenderNet. you'll have the models to your side and the settings right there the laura is right here control net is the one i've mentioned earlier of course face lock is right here Let's focus first in face lock and upload the reference image. I'm going to use the sample photo I got. Give me a second to look for it. I think I still have it here. I'm going to go with this one. And then for the um, prompt, I'm going to use this prompt I have saved for you guys. So is it good? A beautiful Instagram model wearing glasses. And then I just added the realistic on this part right there. Hyper realistic and photograph. And for negative prompts, we have this one right there. These are the things to avoid on the image. Now, before I generate this one, I want to talk about some things here. First of all, focus on the image that doesn't have a sunglasses or any eyewear. And then do not upload pictures taken from afar. Mainly focus on the face, so please choose this one. Also, with next one right there, make sure you enable face lock. Next up for models, we already have a preset one. I'm gonna remove this one. I'm gonna go with photo real. I'm gonna go with epic realism. I'm gonna go and remove the one earlier. You can choose more than one models, but I do not suggest that. And then for Laura, it's just another additional feature for you guys. For example, you can click better hands right there to avoid any disruption on the hands or the output. Next up. If you click on settings, this is the seed. As my previous video suggested, do not play around with this one if you're not really familiarized with it. Because these are different or it changes or rather it varies from image to image. I already sampled um, the example on how to use seed or what's the purpose. So please check out the, my video about that. And then the handler. I'm going to remain as default because this is the most popular one. For this step, I'm going to remove default, AI guidance, still default. I prefer batch size, I think I'm going to with 4. The higher the batch size, the higher the coins. So since I'm using a free account, I only have 10 free coins on this RenderNet account as of now. Aspect ratio, I'm going to rename it as 2 to 3. And then the quality with this one, you can put regular or plus. I'm going to go with um, regular for this one. That being said, I think I'm good here. So I'm just going to simply click on generate right now. So I'm going to have four photos waiting for me. I'll get back to you once they're here. So welcome back to the video. Here we have our samples right here. I think I have four. And this is the reference image from earlier. By the way, one of them did not work out. So this is going to be it. As you can see, this it has that exclamation point. So there's that thing that sometimes it gives bugs. However, if you look at the three, let me just full screen one. I'm going to go with this one right there. If you open that one and then place my reference image, 
You can see on the face it's pretty amazing on how it looks the same. So if you check the lips, the eyes are there, especially the nose. Even the hairline where the hair meets up or splits, it's properly there. So if you notice we have that seed number right there. A quick review for you guys is that this seed number is specifically for this output only or rather this one right there. So you can use that, copy it if you want this to be your image one more time. That is basically the use of seed. Next up, let's use this one and change the poses. However, I think I'm going to generate one more to avoid this um, error. I'm just going to click on generate one more time or remove this um, Laura right there and then simply click on generate. I'll get back to you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. As you can see right here, I already have two error right there. So I think it has some bugs as of now, but believe me, it does work regarding the images. Because if we check on the two new images right there, we still have those consistent characters, right? Now let's try changing their pose. So I'm going to go on control net. Make sure you have face lock on, okay? So just go to control net, look for a pose that we want to change them. I'm going to go with this little woman holding a coffee cup. And with this, I'm not going to change a thing here. You can change the depth the normal or the processor right there if it's up to you and then with this one i can just simply check the quality i'm going to remain as it is also i'm going to change the prompt now so for this one i'm just going to change on some stuff here so a beautiful instagram model wearing glasses sitting on the couch and with this one i'm going to type in holding a cup of coffee and i'm going to try re removing some things here Hyper realistic, for example, I'm going to use and remove that photograph and see the result. So I'm just going to generate with this one. However, upon checking, I only have two coins left. I'm going to go back to settings now. And then the batch size will be two only. That being said, I think I'm good to go here. Simply click on generate and wait for the magic to happen. I'll get back to you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. So we have this two right here and as you can see there is no more error. So just keep trying if you have a limited coins of course if you have paid subscription. I think that is 100 per month. But for now I only have 10 so I need to save up. Anyway um, that being said as you can see right here. They're pretty consistent. The face is still there. With this option right here. So the trend here or the process is. First create the face. And then make sure the face lock is on. Move on to control net to change the posing. As you can see right here, we have two images with the same pose. So let's try this one with the male character. Let's move on. So welcome back to the video. As you can see right here, I have a sample of a boy leaning against a wall. That is going to be the prom 3D character, Yellow Huri. So I'm not going to change a thing here. I'm just going to uppercase the letter D. But basically, nothing has been changed. I'm going to go now to face lock. Make sure this is enabled. Upload the reference photo. I'm going to use this one right here. Give me a second. That guy right there. Now with that being said, I can now generate to see it will change its image or rather the face. Click on generate right there and I'll get back to you once it's here. So welcome back to the video and here we have it. It's a bit weird looking because the body is a boy but the face is right there. Let me just pull up my reference image so you can see a little bit more clear. Let me just remove this girl right there. Zoom in a little bit. Full screen this one. And place it right beside each other. I'll tell me that isn't him, right? Even the facial hair is right there. The nose. The color of the eyes hasn't been captured properly. But the essence of how it looks like is there. If you compare it right here. They're the same. The hoodie. The placing. The boy. However, the face has changed. So that is the power of rendernet ai and right now i'm still having a free trial so i think i ran out of coins anyway that is the essence on how to use it so please test the waters check this video if you want to upgrade to a pay subscription and by the way guys this is the pricing so as you can see right there one credit means one image generation so one is the one is the conversion on this ai so for 20 dollars you have a thousand credits $35, 5,000 credits, of course, and of course, $60 for 10,000 credits. That being said, it's pretty straightforward. There is no monthly subscription for this one. 
it's a one-time payment and that being said thank you so much for watching please hit the like button subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one goodbye for now